Hey guys, I'm back with another video. and This one's going to be talking about sales and how we compare sales. I uh, hope you see this picture and some things are familiar to you, such as where the nucleus is and what the mitochondria may look like and the plasma membrane, etc. Alright, if we get into cells, first thing we need to do is realize that there are two basic classes of cells. There are prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. And when we talk about prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells, I mean, it's all about the word. Um, the prefix pro means before. Karyo actually means seed, but in this case we're talking about the nucleus. So prokaryotic seed, uh, cells do not have a nucleus. U means true. And carry up means seed, so U means true nucleus. And as you can see up here in the diagram, or in these diagrams, this prokaryotic cell, this is where the nuclei, nucleoid is found. That's where the DNA is in this cell. In these cells, the DNA is found inside the nucleus itself. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is kind of give you a comparison between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells, and then we're going to do a comparison between plant and animal cells. This will be short and uh, a real short video. First, let's look at prokaryotic. Prokaryotes mean it has no nucleus. It does have a nucleoid region. This nucleoid, nucleoid region is the place that holds the DNA. It's where all the DNA and the chromosomes are concentrated. Um, one thing you need to know is no membrane-bound organelles. That's always a key uh, differentiation between prokaryotes and eukaryotes no membrane bound organelles and you'll see a lot of those in eukaryotic cells something they do have in common with eukaryotic cells eukaryotic cells have these as well is ribosomes uh, they also have a plasma membrane which ribosomes have and they have a cytoplasm or a cytosol which uh, eukaryotic cells have so these three things all cells have or are composed of. Now eukaryotic cells has means true nucleus. Now the nucleus is where the chromosomes are housed inside the eukaryotic cell and as I mentioned they have a membrane bound organelles. Very important. Uh, this allows them to have specialized form and function and we'll talk about these membrane bound organelles later on in the unit. And I mean, eukaryotic cells are generally larger than prokaryotic cells. Um, you know, prokaryotic cells we usually think of, you can't see with the, the naked eye, eukaryotic cells most oftentimes you can. Now, let's take a quick comparison between plant and the animal. Uh, I hope that you can remember some of these from regular biology, and I, I hope you're thinking about them right now. Um, but if we look at plant and animal, the big thing is they have three major differences. The first thing is that a plant cell has a chloroplast, it has a cell wall, and a central vacuole. These three things an animal cell does not have. Now, they both do have some things in common. They both have a plasma membrane. They both have a cytosol or cytoplasm. They both have ribosomes, which we just know that all cells have ribosomes, including prokaryotes. They have chromosomes, which all cells have chromosomes, including prokaryotes, uh, just may not be in a nucleus. And the similarity between plant and animal here, they both have membrane-bound organelles. Okay, that was a brief overview of the cell, uh, both eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells and plant and animal cells and how they compare. Um, I hope you're ready for the week. Have a good day.